What do you want to know about the ATM business? I mean, just how to get started and stuff like that. What I need to get started and stuff like that. Okay, so I have a full video on it, and the basic idea is you need an ATM, then you need, for example, like a, a company to handle like all the networking, then you need also, for example, like the bank account. The hardest part to actually get is just gonna be, for example, like the actual bank account, because some banks are just like tricky and they don't wanna deal with ATMs, but it's just basically, I think in the in the video that I did, I, I included the type of ATMs you can actually get, for example, like the models and so on, I included, for example, the company that can provide you for you the ATM and also like the, the back office for it because that's how you get everything actually connected and everything like that. And then the bank account that you can actually use, they're just different banks. They're always changing. So I recommend you just like search up on Google and find out what bank can actually support um, supports ATM business and so on. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. And what about the LLC and stuff like that? That's just, what, what, where, what state are you in? Uh, Louisiana. Yeah, so just, you ever applied for an LLC before? No, never. Yeah, so it's, it's nothing different from applying from a normal LLC. If you want, you can use LegalZoom. That's an online service. You can use also Send Business. It's also like an online service. Or if you just don't want to do that, you can just, for example, speak to a CPA and just have them file everything for you, like an accountant and so on. Um, but it's fairly... Like they're going to charge me to do that. Yeah. yeah they're going to charge me to do that. Well, okay. I could just do it myself. Yeah, you could do it yourself, um, but if you've never done it before and you're not an accountant and you don't have any experience with it, if you want to do it, just search right. up on Google how to how to file an LLC. Some things, by the way, when you're doing a business, um, just because you can you can do something doesn't mean you should, because sometimes, for example, someone can do it like better. You can your time can be used for something else. So if you can have somebody do it for you for like two hundred bucks or like three hundred dollars, and they can save you a lot of time and stuff like that potentially might be a good deal. Uh -huh. If you are running on a low budget right. though, and just wanna do it yourself, you could just do, for example, um, doing business as when you first get started, right? But then the problem is with the whole bank account. So you can just, you can search up on Google, how to file um, for an LLC in Louisiana. I think it probably gonna be like 60 bucks to actually do the whole filing process most likely, but then you have to do all the paperwork and everything else yourself. And even okay. after you do that, so you're still gonna need, for example, bookkeeping to take place. So you're still gonna need an accountant no matter what. Right. So first thing is to get the LSC. No, that's not the first thing. The first thing is to do the research okay. and to make sure that this business actually makes sense. Now, as you know, um, ATMs are great. For example, you put them in one spot. If you have a lot of like foot traffic, you can get people to actually use it and have an inconvenience or whatever, you get some money. However, it is a dying business, especially today with like, um, for example, like Apple Pay, Google Pay, and all these other forms of payment, right? So the deal is that it's more like a business that you kind of operate. And then once it starts like flowing through, makes you some money, maybe you just want to dump it and just sell to somebody else. So, why do you want to do the ATM business exactly? I mean, just to get, like, you know, I just want to try it just to see how it goes like that. I, I'm just, yeah, I'm just not doing this for, like, a main income or none of that. I'm just, well, I just want to see how what it do you, What do you do for money right now? What's your job? Uh, right now, I have a job. A what? I have a job. Okay, what, what's your job? What do you do? Uh, I work at a hotel. Okay. How much money do you make per hour? Uh, I they gave me ten fifty. Okay, so how much cash do you have on hand? Cash, uh, let's say about five k. Okay, so if these people give you ten fifty, it took you, if I'm not mistaken here, around five hundred hours of your time to get that five thousand dollars. Uh huh. You see how crazy that sounds? Right. So when you're trying to try a business yeah. like this, it's gonna cost you like 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, and it's just to try it out, it's costing you a ton of money. It's just that me personally, for example, I would be using my time, because you have time right now, and my money towards learning a new skill that can potentially just make me more money. Because an ATM is a slow business. So even if it does work out and you put it in one location, it might make you, for example, 200, 300, $400 like, um, per location per month. Then you split it with, for example, with the person. But if it's a business that's going to be going down and down and down, it might not be the best for you. Now, if you're making $10.50 per hour, right? That's what you're making? Yeah. 
It's just, you don't make you don't make enough money, right? You don't make a lot of money. So what I would do is basically I would focus on locking down a new skill. Whether, for example, that's trade school, whether, for example, that's a license, whether, for example, that is college, whether, for example, that's a course. You've got to start.